Hey guys, my name is Confident. Welcome to the 24 minute lesson except where I will be sharing with you some ideas, some methods, some strategies or concepts that you can incorporate as you prepare for your final exams, be it your studying for your mathematics N1, your N2 or your N3. Now, if these videos are handy and you are benefiting from them, you can actually press the like button or if you've got some ideas, you can leave some comments below. If you also like to be notified of extra videos every time we post them, you can subscribe to our channel and then you'll get some notification every time they are new videos. And also, if you are interested in some of our resources, be it test books and some videos, you can check this at the end of this video. We will send you some information. Now, let's check this concept out. Uh, I looked at uh, this question paper that was written in April. Actually, it was supposed to be written in April 2020, but ended up being postponed to July because of uh, coronavirus. Now, there is uh, this question 1.2.1, .1, which was on logarithms. Um, it was for max, uh, and I feel like it was kind of uh, a good way of grabbing this for max because there was not there was nothing complicated in this particular question it says simplify the following logarithm without using a calculator the moment they say i must not use a calculator you know what i do i simple take my calculator and find out what is the answer to this particular question so you can see i'm given log 5 plus log 2 uh be careful how you punch you can see the calculator opens the bracket the moment i put a lock it opens the bracket for me to uh, enter 20 and I must close that bracket before I enter the next one plus log uh, 5. So now what I have here, I have entered that. It gives me 1 over 2. So I know that my answer will be 1 over 2. Now the next question I must uh, ask myself is without using this calculator, how can I get my 1 over 2? So that is the main um part that the examiners are trying to check whether you know your laws of logarithms now i'm going to remind you of a few laws of logarithms here we have got this law which says log x plus log y it can be a base here sometimes they put a and then they put a so if the bases are the same this is same as log in base a of x times y or xy in this case so you have got that particular law that you must remember and you have this law also which says okay let me leave it like that for now i think it is the main law here so applying this law we can apply the law on top as you can see lock um lock here five plus lock Two. Now it is assumed if there is no base, it's always base 10. So you don't have to write the base 10, but that's what it is, it is assumed. So when you have that, this is same as log 5 times 2 or log 5 dot 2. And log 5 times 2 is same as what? Log 10. So you've got that first part. Again, you repeat the second one. You are going to be having log 20 plus log 5 you can see this one using the same method it is log 20 times 5 right and what is 20 times 5 it is log 100 so now you can see that as i said it was not a complicated uh, kind of a question so which means you can move on now to say uh remember our answer is 1 over 2 right I just want to uh, take it even from here. Just remember your answer. The answer we got here was 1 over 2. So if I can take it straight from here, it will be equal to log 10 over log 100. Now, uh, the next thing that um, you can bring across is what is log 100. Remember, log 100 is same as log 10 to the power of 2 and this is the second law i wanted to bring in to you to say if you are given a law as log maybe a 
x to the power of y is equal to this particular power it drops down there so that you've got y log in base a of x so you see that the y and the x look how they are so similarly when you come back to this log 10 to the power of 2 it is equal to the 2 will drop down there to have 2 log 10 in other words it is 2 times log 10 so it is similar that we have here it was going to be log 10 over 2 log 10 you see what we're having and that's where the whole math was whereby you cancel log 10 you cancel log 10 and when you cancel log 10 you've got one on top and this answer simple becomes one over two so that is where the one over two was coming from as we did uh, get it with our calculator i hope uh, you were able to um, see how the laws of logarithms were used in here without the use of a calculator you can apply these laws and still get the same answer thank you i hope the video that you just watched was of benefit to you and as i said if you benefited from the video you can press the like button or you can leave us a comment below and if you want to be notified of these videos you can always uh, subscribe to our channel now if you want the full curriculum of this mathematics if you are studying for mathematics n1 n2 or n3 and you want the test book as well as the videos we have a full um, curriculum of the mathematics n1 n2 n3 as well as the accompanying videos we also have videos of the previous question papers the latest papers that were written in video form these question papers can assist you as you prepare for your exams we also have pdf version of the previous question papers that were that were written since 2014 until now and if you want them you can check all the information from our website and trust me these will become very handy to you uh, we sell them at a very discounted prices and it is worth the try thank you